have to forcibly exhale that air. That does require ATP. So you're right, a barrel chest may be seen with a person who has trouble exhaling the air. What disease is that associated with? Emphysema. Okay, so there we go. Back to emphysema, back to COPD again. So we're looking at all these issues associated with getting the air in and getting the air out. So does smoking play a big part in that? Yeah. Liters of air. 
That's of course an average because not everybody can accommodate six liters of air. But, you know, that's a lot of air. That's three two liter bottles that you can get into and out of your lungs and all the air that fills those alveolar air spaces as well. That's a lot of air. BC stands for what? Vital capacity. Good. BC is vital capacity. Vital capacity is the total amount of air that's exchangeable. Notice the difference between vital capacity and TLC. TLC is exchangeable in air that is also not able to be exchanged with the outside world or with your um, alveolar ear sacs and capillaries. That's just the total amount of air that your lungs can accommodate. But vital capacity is what you can inhale forcibly and exhale forcibly. So if you were to go for a deep sea dive and you're standing on a platform getting ready to dive into the ocean, you may exercise your lungs for a few minutes by going <gasps> taking as much air in as you can force and pushing as much air out as you can force. That's what um, vital capacity is, how much you can bring in forcibly and how much you can exhale forcibly. You'll notice a little equation there, VC equals TV plus IRB plus ERB. Okay, so that's a little complicated mess that we'll look at as we go through the next three items here. But essentially, TV is tidal volume. TV is tidal volume. What about IRV? Inspiratory reserve volume. Good. IRV is inspiratory <coughs> reserve volume. IRV is inspiratory reserve volume. What about ERV? Expiratory. Good. ERV is expiratory reserve volume. <coughs> You'll notice the range here is around 4,800 milliliters for males and about 3,300 for females. If you'd rather convert that to just simply liters, in a male it is 4.8 liters, in a female it's 3.3 liters. doing at your desk right now is just breathing in and out. This process is TV. It's called tidal volume. <coughs> tidal volume is passive breathing. We're not talking about forcibly bringing air in or forcing it out. So just passive, normal, quiet breathing is moving around 500 mils of air into and out of your lungs. To give you an idea of how much air that is, Think about a Coke can or a Pepsi can or whatever. That's around 250 some milliliters of, of fluid. Double that and that's how much air you bring in and out of your lungs every time you sit there and breathe. So what is IRV? Inspiratory reserve volume. Okay, inspiratory reserve volume. And what are you doing during IRV? Forcing air in. <gasps> Big deep breath of air, that's how much you can forcibly take in above and beyond the tidal volume. So you'll notice here that IRV ranges from around 2100 milliliters of air for a female to 3200 for a male. <coughs> to give you an idea of how much air that is, that's a two liter bottle for a female, that's a two liter bottle and a half for a male. That's a lot of air that you can suck in forcibly if you're taking in air during a forced inhalation. All right, let's go ahead and start labeling some of this stuff. We've got enough covered so far that we can put a couple of things on here. This little portion right here is TV. 